Hi, Harry Dent here on January the 14th. Now the trillion dollar question today, has this stock market finally peaked after the greatest bubble under totally artificial means, no demographics driving, in fact, contraire, okay? No other trends, total stimulus, greatest bubble from 2009 into the late 2021, now very early 2022. The, the S&P has been the last to peak thus far in a progression of top. That's why I think this could really be a top, okay? All this progression. NASDAQ last peak was November 22nd, and it keeps going back, okay? So we need to see follow through. Uh, as of today's, looks like it's open. Uh, the NASDAQ's down 11% from the top. S&P 5%. Um, Russell 2000, obviously a little more risky, 13%, and then biotech, most leading edge and volatile, 22% in stocks, and Bitcoin, the biggest bubble, most volatile of all, and not the bubble hedge, Bitcoin down 41%. So this, up until frankly yesterday, this was not looking like a top to me, but it's down yesterday, looks to be down more today. So we're gonna keep looking. And I look back at the past, the Dow in 1929, the leading index, large cap back then, was down 4.7% in the first two weeks of that crash, which ended up being down 49% in 2.6 months, okay? So, so we're on track for that with the S&P 500 here. So that's, that's the good news. So, so far, it's looking good. Uh, the NASDAQ in 2000 was down 6.7% in the first two weeks. And again, compare that to maybe next Monday or Tuesday. So we're getting close to that. So, so you know, NASDAQ's down 11% here. So we are in line thus far, but we do need to see follow through. So the rest of January, and I'd say early February, is gonna tell us a little more conclusively whether we've seen a top in stocks or not. And remember, and this is, this is so important, nobody is gonna get this. The first crash historically of the seven great bubbles of the last century plus, 41% in 2.6 months, okay? Half the crash tends to come in the first couple of months. Nobody thinks that's what happens. History says it happens darn near every time, okay? My megaphone pattern and the fact that this bubble is so much more stretched says the first crash is likely to see as low as two thousand on the s p 500 look that up it's been 4808 at the top okay that's a 58 percent decline potential in the first two to three months okay 54 percent minimum okay so so this is going to be major if it happens we are on track only because of the last two days i was about to give up and say ah oh, not a top so, so I am going to keep you updated. Uh, this is a critical time for the markets. I think the next two to three weeks should confirm more if we've seen a top or not. And of course, two months from now, say, say into early March, we should know very conclusively. But, but I think just if we continue to follow this trajectory of 29 and 2000 in the NASDAQ, uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll get a better feeling. But, but this is the first time it does finally look like we could have seen a top in stocks. And again, also remember the end game. It was 89% in the crash of this magnitude on the 90-year on the cycle, which is the biggest cycle, bubble cycle for stocks. And, and I am projecting uh, it could be as much as 87% for the S&P and of course a little more maybe for the NASDAQ. So this is gonna be pretty similar to that. So, so this is nothing to take lightly as you know from listening to me, but thus far it does look like it's happening and, and <laughs> keep looking for updates in the next couple of weeks. I'm sure there's gonna be at least a few. Thanks for listening. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. 
If you want to earn 500,000, 1 million dollar, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke. And you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where to start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them and if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange and one of the biggest are for example Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well established exchanges but, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin. It went through the roof, to the moon so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist. Here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.